Are you tired of juicing juice by hand like some sort of monster? Do you have weak, tiny arms that can barely squeeze a lemon? Have you almost burned your house down 801 times? <laughs> We're building an auto juicer. Not an automated juicer, but an automobile juicer. Instead of a jack or a screw to press down on the plates that squeezes the fruit, we're going to drive a, a car on top of it. Did you get this idea when we ran over the apple? Yeah, I did. We're gonna put a cookie sheet on the ground that's gonna collect the juice, build a frame on the cookie sheet of wood, take this cloth and you cut up fruit or stick whole fruit in it and then wrap it up, put it in the frame that's on top of the cookie sheet, you put the blocks on top of it, and then you drive the car onto it. And it, it just is gonna, it's, I think it's gonna squish it down. I don't see why this isn't gonna work. Okay, let's go get some fruit, maybe some wood. Should have got a cart. Oh god, I forgot we were in this car. My friend Cedric, who filmed the cotton candy video with, gave me this tiny table saw. It's not really the right tool for the job, but it's the only tool I have, and the laser is not gonna cut through that. It's way too thick. Oh. Uh -oh. Two 11 inch pieces. How do I lift the blade up? Oh my God, Cedric, are you kidding me? There's no handle. Right by my car? Seriously? William! Timber! Oh my God. It's gonna hit my car. Well, it's an ugly car anyways. Let me get the hacksaw. That's a good idea. Let's have it crash through your window. He's a Nick William. Using the wrong tools for the right job. These are the 12 inch sides. And then the outsides are 8 or 11 inches. And that gives us a... 12 by, here's really tall. Did we make this too tall? Oh god, we have to drive a car up onto that. How else would you do this? A skill saw? Basically a table saw is a skill saw that you've strapped upside down. <laughs> Something about table saws, I just like imagine like falling into it. Especially being so low to the ground too. I think you're supposed to put this on a tabletop. I could put it on like the back of the, no, that's not gonna, I could put it, no, that's not a bad idea. That's, no, that's not bad. A tree died for this. I don't think we necessarily need to have like it super rigid. It just needs to kind of hold together. And how do we get the ramp to stick to it? I did not think this through very well. Yeah. We have to collect the juice somehow. So I got a cookie sheet. Does that fit? Oh my God, that fits. It's gonna work like once and then tear itself apart. Oh dear. Uh, the fruit is gonna be wrapped up in a rag in here. This is gonna be a disaster, isn't it? I had something like envisioned like in my head and it, I don't know, it was so much better than this. I don't know, whose idea was this? Did you get this idea when we ran over the apple? Yeah, I did. This is so janky that we kind of just need to do it and, and not spend too much more time on it. Because if we spend too much more time on it, we should have just done it better from the beginning. I think this is only gonna work once. I'm pretty sure we're gonna drive on top of it and everything's just gonna explode. So, let's just juice everything. We got fruits, vegetables, a half-eaten apple, raw corn, a banana, unpeeled, tomato, Tangelino, what I have, Tangel, Tangelato, kale, and then just for extra healthiness, wheatgrass. You're gonna have to guide me, I can't really see. Straight or should I turn a little bit? Oh God. Oh, there's juice coming out. Yeah! <laughs> Is that the watermelon? 
Oh, that's definitely watermelon and pineapple. Sawdust, tail. That's actually not bad. You wanna try camera? Here you go. Did you clean this cookie sheet before you used it? I wiped it down with a paper towel. A dry paper towel. <laughs> Should we do an oil change now that the car's up in the air? <laughs> Tape that there. Not a very efficient juicing process. The kale didn't juice at all. I for sure thought that would. Oh god, look at the banana and the, and the corn. Let's rearrange it and then repress it. Oh no, we're leaking juice. I still don't taste any corn. It's like 90% pineapple. Hey, uncooked corn's pretty good. Oh god, the banana's seen better days. Dude, the wheatgrass is like untouched. It's definitely pretty dry. What about the watermelon? Yeah, that's very pulpy. Does it look like I'm like going through someone's compost pile and just eating their garbage? Bye. Internet detected. Okay, Mr. Juicer, what could you possibly need an internet connection for? Pretty much anything except the crap you upload to YouTube. You need bits to make bites and internet to make juice. Alternative connections available. Do you hate fidget spinners? Too bad, because we're giving some away, made by the ever talentless cameraman John. That's right, he has no talent. Yeah, they got little glass eyeballs. I don't really get it, but we'll give five away. Leave a comment, and uh, also leave a video suggestion if you've got a horrible idea. This idea, this video was, I think honestly, one of the stupidest things we've ever done. Um, and if you wanna to try to one-up that, help us come up with something significantly worse. But now it's time to give away leaves. A Leo Bell Pomo. He says, me wants leaf. And then, oh, well, that's Crass Nye says, leaf me, daddy. You get a leaf too. Bye.